We welcome you here to a big night of fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Nichols is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. And he returns on that exchange. Iron Mike now facing a pretty well-rounded, well-schooled boxer puncher here, Teddy. Yeah, a guy that he's not going to find just by standing there or just walking forward. He's going to have to cut the ring down gonna have to take some air out of the tires goes downstairs to the basement a little bit he's gonna have to work his way in he might have to earn it tonight Nichols' defense did a good job there able to avoid that punch halfway through round number one Nichols' right hand did a nice job that time that worked well for him Solid shots with the combo downstairs. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Nichols is so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Tyson's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Defensively, Mike Tyson's in bad shape. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. No, but it's kind of situation. Oh, and there you go. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. Three, four. And somehow, some way, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. And that's the end of round one. Nichols' cut man is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things. Avertine, adrenaline, and thrombus. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. combination with a flush left hook to the body and then that right hand he had his eyes set on the uppercut but was unable to land it blocks away that headshot Trying to steady himself in this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, how much can really happen in those 60 seconds? How much of a benefit is it to a damaged fighter? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, physically, you have to revigorate the guy. You know, maybe massage the legs a little bit. Most importantly, get some ice on the back of his neck. You know, get that blood flow going a little bit. Make sure that you revive him a little bit. Get him back to feeling like he's ready to go out there. Hook right to the flank. More than one punch downstairs. That could be damaging. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Right to the belt line. A stinging uppercut by Kobe Nichols. Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there after getting hit. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. A well-placed uppercut by Kobe Nichols. There you go.
number three is underway. Double jab by Nichols. Brings the hook that time. And Tyson with a block punch. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Nichols is doing well here with that two-punch combination. Now, this is just beautiful to watch. Watch how he just links one to the next, Teddy. A beautiful sequence, almost like musical notes being played. Well, exactly. It's a nice tune because it just follows. One, as you said, follows the other. Nice and smooth. There's the combo to the body. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Kobe Nichols. Targeting a left hand to the body. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Good combination by Kobe Nichols. Mike Tyson with a big up. He got caught by that right hand. Oh! Late goings here this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? One, two. And round three comes to an end. Our first chance to take a look at Teddy's scorecard here is round number four is underway. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make a miss, make him pay. Look at that combination by Mike Tyson. Nichols is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. Solid. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five. Nichols' trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Huge jumper cut by Thompson. Double jab by Mike Tyson. Able to show you his blocking ability. Hits him in the mug with the right. Right back to the belt line. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Mike Tyson. 
showing what a skilled fighter he is with his counter punching. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Oh, they both stand flush with an uppercut. Little head knocking with that right hand. You can start to see the confidence just bubbling up inside of him. Tyson's knockdown in that last round has got him back in this fight. Teddy still trailing on the scorecards. He's got tons of momentum. Yeah, he does, and he has to use it. If I'm in the corner, I'm telling him you got two choices now. You can go home after this fight and say, hey, I hurt him, but you didn't do anything else. Or you could follow up on that hurt, and you could finish him win this fight. Good block by Kobe Nichols. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Nichols is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. We got a fighter who was knocked down earlier, who, as you can see, is still going about his business the exact same way. Let's turn the tables a bit. If you're opposite that fighter, what do you want to do? What you want to do is just keep going and, hey, you know that old saying, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Well, he's giving it to you. Keep taking it. Keep going to that well until there's no more water. If he's giving you big, big shot comes crashing home. Nichols is battered and beaten. I don't know that this fight's going to continue. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Nice block by Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. Banking away those body shots. Tyson's got to do more than this. I mean, you can't just sit there stationary and expect the night to go your way. This fight is going opposite of how he needs it to go right now. Well, maybe it's not, Joe. Maybe he's given up already. You know, it's all about what's going on in the mind of a fighter. Maybe he's given in, and this is his way, believe it or not, of getting the ref to stop this fight. So we've come to the halfway point of what has been a very highly competitive bout and Teddy if it stays that way throughout this night then this is going to be an all-time classic super two punch combo by Mike Tyson he comes with the straight right hand right to the body Denies his opponent, comes with the overhand right. Right to the belt line. Solid straight right hand. Halfway through this round. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Oh, that's got to hurt. Can you believe that? One, what a huge punch. Two, you couldn't have seen that three, one coming. And those are the ones four, you usually don't prepare for. Five, you prepare for the ones that are more sophisticated, the ones that are a little tighter in the gym. You don't have training for these. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught. Have good habits. Have big, big shot he just scored with. Forget about the judges. This one may be over now. Nichols is down, and he looks like he's in bad shape. When you fall that way, you usually don't get up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine.
The ref is stopping this fight. Mike Tyson's hand to be raised in victory. He scores the knockout here tonight. By way of knockouts, your winner. Mike Tyson, fitting end to a very strong night for him. There is a business component to this game here, this boxing game, and the business component is interested, excited. He just did that. Good enjoyment.